What's up guys? So today we're taking a look at this digital control interface that I've built for my jet engine. Um, I'll run you through how I've done it and what components I've used. So we're heading to the workshop. So as you can see, I used to run some red art gauges. I'm gonna keep these, but I'm going digital with this so that I can keep a data log um, during the runs. But essentially, I used to have two boost pressure gauges and EGT. Um, so I've currently got it running. This is my P3 boost pressure coming out of the compressor. And then this is my EGT temperature um, exiting the combustor. Over here, I've also got oil pressure and temperature. So on the new interface, this is just a prototype, so I don't have all of the sensors wired up. Um, but basically I'm testing out a pressure sensor um, and also two K-type thermocouples. And at the moment I've got them running through a Raspberry Pi. As you can see, this is all <laughs> set up as a prototype, but eventually I'll get it all nicely installed in here. But in here you can see I've got two modules for the two K-type thermocouples. Um, and these are digital, so they talk directly with the Raspberry Pi. And then in here, I've got a Honeywell pressure sensor, and that also puts out a digital signal that talks directly to the Pi, which is really handy. Now, I'm controlling my Raspberry Pi um, through a VNC uh, on, on this tablet. And as you can see, I've got real time of the temperature and pressure coming to these gauges, um, but I've also got a graph uh, it's across the 30 second interval, but then it'll keep going after the 30 seconds and I can start and stop that data recording and then following the run, it'll actually export all of that data to an Excel spreadsheet, which is really handy. As for the actual thermocouple, I've got these EGT K-type thermocouples um, in the same location that I had the old ones and then I've just got a temporary setup for the one coming out of the turbine exhaust and then P3 pressure, boost pressure, I'm actually measuring out of there, so that's static pressure. Um, it'd be handy to have total pressure there and also going into the compressor, but I'm just working on getting all the sensing down pat first and then we'll get to that. So yeah, I'm gonna get everything set up now just for a quick little run and we can take a look at the sensors. So yeah, if you're interested in this kind of stuff, please like, comment, and subscribe. Um, and yeah, I'll keep you in the loop with how it all goes, and we'll go from there. Cheers.